Ben was born um, on the 3rd of January 2012 and he was born in the car outside A&E. Ben was perfectly well Then he just woke up overnight on the Saturday and started, he was just crying in his sleep and jerking a little bit in his sleep and when he woke up in the morning he couldn't walk at all, started having tremors and sort of uncontrollable jerking movements. He would be in the bed and he would just jerk to the bottom of the bed and then vomit um, and by the morning he developed the abnormal eye movements as well so it was all very very rapid. It seemed every day they were coming up and giving you a different diagnosis, um, each one which was getting a bit more rarer than <laughs> a bit more than serious, before, yeah. and a bit more serious. And <clears> then <throat> Dr Lim came to see us and you know asked about what had been happening and pretty much straight away told us he thought it was. He knew it what was, it was, didn't he? Yeah. Um, dancing eye syndrome. Dancing eye syndrome um, is due to a whole host of reasons. The biggest one we can identify is a tumour. So it's a tumour triggering uh, the condition, meaning that the immune system generally tries to attack the tumour but at the same time uh, attacks the brain. We know that despite treating them with all the treatment that we have today, at least 70 to 80 percent still have significant problems downstream years down the line and sometimes even into adulthood. And this could be in the form of motor difficulties, behavioural uh, difficulties and also cognitive. An average patient will be started on steroids and uh, continued on steroids for a long period of time. If the condition has not improved, then physicians would add what we call a second line uh, treatment or even third line treatment. And at the moment, we know that you know, some of these are effective, but we don't know which one is the most effective. So the research project that's found this funding is uh, based on evaluating a very standardised uh, treatment regime whereby it balances the aggressiveness of early treatment versus not over-treating the group that present mildly. And using that, what we would then do is design the clinical trial to answer the question as to what is the optimal you know, therapy. I think we were extremely you know, lucky. Because Dr Lim did say, didn't he, that if he'd seen me later, he wouldn't have been able to definitely tell it was dancing ice syndrome. Ben's a lively little boy, just like any other sort of three-year-old really. Um, he enjoys making things, doesn't he, and riding his bike and... I'm painting. And painting. <laughs> you like, what, what do you like painting, Benny? Metal. Metal. There we go, yeah. <laughs>